Welcome back, scary and mysterious story lovers. So today, we are talking about the story of the fisherman and what he saw at sea. Welcome. Feel free to leave your comment. We'll be polite and be respectful. For this is a true story. Okay, are you ready? If you're someone that is scared, then maybe this is not the channel for you. If you love scary and mysterious story, then here is where you want to be at. Okay, so I'm from the generation of fishermen. My grandpa, my dad, my great grandpa, We've all been fishermen. And in our community, we are known to be among the best fishermen and women. So on this day, like every other day, something I've done from when I was young, as I went fishing with my dad and my siblings, we will all go for fishing, we will have fun, we'll go with our food, drink everything because we spend many hours at sea. On this day, I packed up my bags, got my fishing net, everything I needed, and I went down to the port. I took my fishing boat and I set out. Now. I don't have so much money, not from family that is wealthy, so I have a wooden boat. I have used this wooden boat for years and years. It has served well. It works well. It works fine for me. On this day, I wanted to go catch some fish for me and my family. So I set out packed my net, everything I needed, put it in my boat, and I started going out. When I got to where I normally drop nets, I decided since I wanted to catch for just me and my family, maybe I should do the deep water diving where you dive into holes, put your hands in the holes, and pull out big fishes. You don't need net, hook, or anything. So I took off my clothes, uncovered my boat, and I dove down. The first few holes I put my hands, there was nothing. It was empty. At a point, I was feeling like I'm not going to get anything today. I was like, maybe today is not my lucky day. I said, okay, let me take the boat further and try a few more holes. Now I have to dive deeper than I normally do. But well, I didn't want to go home without anything. So I paddled my boat further, anchored it, and got ready to dive one more time. As I jumped into the water, I was diving down. It was dark. It was muddy. So you really cannot even see your hands in front of your face. You cannot see so I was searching for the holes I find one I found one and then I put my hands in and I pulled out a very big fish I was excited all day I've been looking for fishes I didn't get any and now I just got a big one that was good I surfaced placed it in the uh, boat and I said let me go one or two more times and each time I dove down, I always got a big fish. Now this was looking good. If you've ever been for fishing, then you understand that feeling when you're catching a lot of fish. You get excited, you don't want to go, you don't want to stop. So I didn't stop, I continued. Diving down every hole I put my hand, I will come out with one or two big fish. 
the boat was almost full. So I said, let me just do one more dive before I go home. As I dove down, found the hole. It was time for me to put my hand in and pull out the fish. And I felt a grip. Now, this grip was not like from fish or something just passing by. It was a grip as if I was held by a human. But I knew I was deep down in the water and that's not possible because I was the only one around this area. When I got here, my boat was the only boat. So I pulled my hands out in fear. I tried to surface, I couldn't. As this thing, or this person, grabbed me and was pulling me down deeper and deeper and deeper. Now I was almost drowned. So I started fighting. When I tried to hold, I could not hold this person or this thing because it was the body was slippery and hairy. But this thing had the look of a human. It had two arms and we fought and fought and I barely escaped alive. When I surfaced, I went straight to my boat and I headed home. When I got to the port, tied my boat, I sat there thinking to myself, what is this? What was that? I've never experienced this from when I started fishing with my father when I was just a young boy up until now. When I went home, I didn't want to talk about it. I just kept it to myself for a very long time. All right. Hold on for the second part as I don't want this video to be too long. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you very much.